What's good, people? Uncle Hotep back at it again. How you doing, people? Cleveland. Easter Sunday massacre. People are going to church in their best, their Sunday best. You know, you know the, the shine, the akata, I love getting dressed up for Easter. Kids were painting Easter eggs. And uh, a massacre happened. Steve Stevens uh, shot Robert I think Goodwin Jr. Goodwin Sr. I wonder if he was Jr. I think I said Jr. I think he was but he was 73 I think he years old. You know what I mean? He recorded it uploaded it to Facebook people initially thought it was a stream but it wasn't apparently. Apparently he just recorded it then uploaded it. And he was driving around saying he he killed like 13, 14 people. Um, he was actually streaming then. And uh, it's a shame. It's a shame that old man that died uh, got killed because this guy, I guess he, Joy Lane, and I guess it, he got cucked by uh, uh, his, his ex girlfriend, Joy Lane. I did post a video on my channel about him. He, uh, I guess he was outside her job. Because uh, I think they both worked at the same place. And uh, why he was doing this. He said uh, Joy Lane and his mother were to blame. He actually said he went to his mother's house the other day, the day before. And said he had suicidal thoughts. And was trying to plan on hurting somebody. Now he said she ain't care. She didn't say nothing about it. So go ahead and take your black ass out of here. Or some shit like that. You know, but, uh, you know, I mean, I, I read an article where she said, Maggie Green said, uh, well, she told him not to do it, told him to stop or something like that. You know, I don't know if she was trying to save face or he was lying. It, it's one of the two. Um, it's crazy. And uh, well, a couple of things I want to talk about while I made this video is one, why can't they catch him? It's the next day. Ain't nobody's found this man. None. This man was streaming. I guess they didn't find it, like, it didn't get reported in this thing, because I remember I was looking online. The first thing I saw was uh, one of the black frat members, because Stevens is, I think he's a Q. He was, has this picture of doing, you know what I mean, doing the, the frat, you know what I mean, the black frat. Uh, I think that's the Q's uh, hand signals or whatever. I don't really get into black fraternities, but man, whatever. <laughs> Anyway, my first when I first found out about it, I, I, uh, somebody had posted a tweet. It was one of the black frat members saying this guy doesn't represent the frats. I mean, he's doing this on his own. He's it, it, it basically trying to dis, distance the fraternity from Stevens. And people were like, "Man, this is not the time to be fucking caring about your black fraternity. Nobody gives a, a goddamn." About you shines, running around, paddling other niggas in the ass, fucking sticking your fingers in the ass, and all this other shit because you're trying to, uh, and, you, and your initiations, initiations and shit like that. All oh, that's that, that simple stuff. Remember back in a couple months ago, there was a black Greek thing, and half the guys were, 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 had their, their pants hanging out their ass and shit like that. All that craziness. And this is, and this is the upper echelon of the American Negro. Just think, just think on that. Oh my God, Jesus Christ! Black people in trouble. But anyway, that's the first thing I heard about it. I was like, what the hell is going on in Cleveland? Like, dude, there was nothing trending or nothing. I seen a guy, and people were going in on him. Like, man, like, man, what the hell are you talking about? Nobody care about your black friend. Then I did a little digging and did a little search, and I was like, oh man, this is this guy went and he killed a whole bunch of people. And they said he was uh he was streaming. I guess he had two phones. He had burn. He must have had, he had a flip. He was talking. People were calling him. He wanted his mother to call him, the Joy Lane to call him. <sighs> then I saw the video about when he killed uh, Robert uh, Good, the 
elderly man. Now imagine this man. This guy was 72, 73 years old, right? This guy went been through civil rights era. He's probably a veteran. I think he, somebody said he was a Marine or something like that. Probably been through the wars. You know what I mean? I don't know if he, either he was in Nam. He's probably too young for World War II. But he, if he was Marine, he was probably definitely in Nam. Imagine. You know, so he, he went through all that. Back when, and he even went back when racism was real in this country. Not today where it's fake racism. It's, it's only it's only in these uh, activist minds and online. He went through real racism back in the day. And imagine living your whole life to have some shine, one of your own, kill you because Joy Lane left him, left your black ass. Imagine this. why Hoteps try to preach lack of accountability and then going in on the nogs. This is nog behavior, man. There ain't no pussy in the world worth going out and shooting your, your brother man for For who? For what? So then he shoots him. Now apparently I think there's another shooting linked in a dealership and that's where I guess there's what well, this is white Ford Fusion he's riding around in temp tags. And apparently the cops can't find him. He's still loose. He's still on loose. Now I mean say they say he's uh in Erie, he might be in Erie, Pennsylvania, he might be in Michigan. But we're hold in. And you know, I'm Hotep, so my, my false flag senses are starting to tingle, you know what I'm saying? Um, I don't, and why I mean false flags, you know what I mean? Let's let's get things clear here. Um, I don't, like, people were trying to dissect it when he shot Goodwin, was the, there was a whole bunch of uh, uh, liquid or blood, and they were trying to say that only looked real, this, that, and the third. And I mean, I, look, man, it looked like he shot him to me. And to be honest with you, I think he had must have had something in his bag, red, like a spaghetti sauce or something like that. See, because Robert, he put it when he seen the guy pointing the gun, he put his, he tried to put his hands up like that, and it looked like he shot. When he shot, it went right through the bag. Yeah, I think he had something in the bag. Cause when he, when he, then when he fell backwards, I mean, there was a whole. It looked like blood or, or spaghetti sauce was all over the place. People, were like, oh, that looks fake. That looks fake. Nah, man, he, he shot. Me. What I mean by false flag, I mean, was this guy, uh, uh, was he brainwashed? I mean, what, what was wrong with him, you know what I'm saying? Um, did, uh, was he MK Ultra? Was he Treadstone? Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm talking about, false flags. You know what I mean? Um, and then, but the thing that it, 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 it draws me and perks my ears up, like, they haven't caught the guy yet. Here's this man, he was sitting there streaming online for a couple minutes. I don't know why nobody reported it unless nobody called in and was like, hey man, this guy said he was he was killing all these people and he was streaming. They should be they can track you with these phones. They can track you. I'm sorry. If he was streaming, he had to have it on. So you can't tell me they didn't know where his where his location was. You see what I'm saying? They, they just still should show you. There was a guy who, uh, you know, the new media, people are taking the media into their own hands because the fake news ain't, 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 ain't doing a goddamn thing. He was t looking around, he was following reports, he was streaming, he was trying to find him his damn self. Cops follow him, fucking, <laughs> they weird, <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. Pulled him over, took his gun. He had a concealed carry. They took his gun and told him to cease and desist. Because he said they said the LAPD called the, the Cleveland the police department say he was a vigilante looking for a guy. Okay. Like why is LAPD watching the stream in the first place? 
You see what I'm saying? Like, ain't them niggas supposed to be working? Ain't them niggas supposed to be helping ICE catch these illegal immigrants in L.A.? That doesn't even make sense. That story is bullshit. Like, why, if you were L.A., why is the LAPD watching a stream about a, 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 a fugitive, a, a shooter situation in Cleveland, Pennsylvania? A Cleveland, Ohio. That doesn't make any sense in the world. Now, did they shut him down because he might have been, he might have viewed something that he wasn't supposed to see? That's my thinking. I don't, see, now I think he, he don't even, he wasn't even, never in the Ford Fusion or he dipped the car already. And this is the same thing, if you remember back to the um, DC Sniper. See, you got you got you got to have your your mental your mentals your mentals right when this stuff happens. Remember the DC sniper? They they told everybody was a white man for weeks. Everybody was looking for a white man. He ended up being like in a blue Chevy uh, Caprice or some shit, like one of them box Chevy drones. And they drilled a hole, and that's when they were shooting. He was laying was on one of them with big trunks, and he was laying down in the trunk, and he he was just shooting. <laughs> he had to drill the hole in there. He just shot out the hole. But see, that was the misdirection. Everybody was looking for a white man for weeks. Even the even people in the street. And he ended up being in a blue car. So watch this misdirection. If this goes on for weeks and weeks. <clears throat> then you got the shines online. And this is... I, I put I made a, a medium blog post. I'm going to think I'll put that link in the box. I started post, uh, writing some media.